yesterday so I was like freaking out but today has been a great day this far besides having a contact the provider of two of my patients regarding blood sugar and blood pressure two separate patients and I'll tell y'all a lot more about it in a few so while I have some downtime before I pass meds again because we do meds at 8 12 4 and 8 um it's every four hours Unless um, when they get on the tramadol taper, it starts as QID, then it goes to TID, BID, and then only once, one dose. So when it's the BID, they get it at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. TID, they get it at 8 a.m., 2 p.m., and 8 p.m. So right now, I have some downtime. We use iCanotes to chart the medication and chart our nursing notes. And we also have a, a census that's printed out for us every morning from the night nurse. We have a sheet that consists of their vitals and another sheet that it's used to like for notes or like specific doctor orders. We have the doctor orders sheet as well as our rounding sheet that we do on the patients just to keep track of where they are throughout the day because they are detoxing and they have to be closely monitored for, you know, detox symptoms, whether it's mild to moderate, severe, that kind of thing. So right now I'm just working on some notes for school and I am studying. Um, my first mental health exam, I made a 95, so I'm excited. But this next um, exam that I have actually consists of nine chapters. So your girl is stressed. <laughs> so this is how my campus account at school looks. This is my week three checklist, which was this previous week, and my notes compared. I have a lot of notes, guys. But I'm actually working on chapter 20 notes now. So this is my PowerPoint that I'm going to use to compare to the notes I will be actually writing when reading my chapter. So this is my work area. y'all i'm so tired right now normally i just work admin but because we are short a nurse i only had yesterday i mean friday to train to do a um, med pass at my facility at a detox center so yesterday i had five patients one and me last night so when i got here this morning he was gone then another patient got discharged today due to not being compliant with his diabetic diet and receiving insulin. When I say I was freaking out this morning, his sugar dropped to 30 freaking nine. Y'all, I was like, I gotta keep it together. What people don't understand is Nursing is very stressful, but it's also very rewarding. So having a patient have that situation happen today and getting discharged and sent out, and then also gaining two new admits to the TTOX unit, it was all about time management. Nurses must be flexible. And guys, I love my job. I'm a very caring and nurturing person. Nursing is for me. Like I know, like when I was like before I got trained and I was like they're only training me on one freaking shift what so I was freaking out and I told my DON training on one shift she was like girl you got this and I was like yeah a nurse has got to be flexible but like I'm freaking out like what if I don't know something she was like just call me FaceTime me whatever you got to do because she had to be out and as well as our ADON and also I had like another nurse on 
uh, the facility site, but she works in residential, so she doesn't deal with the detox that I could have like referred to her for certain questions. But guys, I'm so proud of myself. It was a stressful two, three days, well, three days total, just learning everything I needed to learn back here. Then um, being able to adapt to these unknown circumstances with my patients, because I basically had two critical patients this weekend. Then I got two new admits today. They haven't started their protocol yet because their um, detox scale, because their detox scale level isn't um, where it needs to be in order to start the protocol. So, yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my overall three day shift when I get to the car, guys. Cause like right now, I'm just like. I have a lot of adrenaline running. So I was supposed to finish record my day in a detox unit when I got off that day. But things were a little hectic. I mean, I had patients AMA, had that patient sugar drops to 39. Then I got new two new admits where I had to try to contact pharmacy and see what meds they were on prior to um, being admitted because that's very important because they have to be stable on their meds in order to continue them while they're on a detox program. And then also some medications that they may be prescribed, they can't take it while detoxing because it could have, you know, adverse uh, reactions and things like that. So my overall experience was amazing. It was very unexpected. Um, I did enjoy it, uh, learning the protocol and just making sure each patient was on the correct taper for that um, day slash med make pass. sure that they're stable on the meds uh, before being admitted because they can't have any suicidal or homicidal ideations and you know of course if they're on blood pressure meds we need to know that sickle cell pretty much anything diabetes so that patient that sugar drops at 39 he actually was in diabetic ketoacidosis two days before he was admitted that was not disclosed before he was admitted because he basically wasn't stable to be detoxing but things happen so yesterday i had my second clinical rotation at a mental facility and it was quite interesting i was actually able to compare what i experienced at work versus being at a all mental um facility that facility patients do have um substance abuse some of them and they do have a they detox. do go to the detox unit while they're there so the only reason why most patients go there versus coming to my job is because you know they are unstable dealing with their psych meds or you know had suicidal homicidal ideations that sort of thing so um i did get to see a difference in the patients and their mood and effect and just like hearing their stories and comparing it to what I'm used to every day because the patients I get at my job, they don't have psych issues. If they did, they are stable on their meds for at least 60 days before being so admitted. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on a day of the life of a detox nurse trying to balance admit and actually doing the med pass because I'm just typically an admit nurse for the facility I am currently working at but I am cross trained officially now to pass meds so my first mental health exam I made a 95 and then um, I have my second exam actually this Thursday right before my birthday and it's nine chapters so I'm a little stressed out but I got this guys thanks for tuning in please like comment or subscribe and I hope Y'all are enjoying these videos. Later.